Hi, and welcome back to part two of the more in-depth look at the BVI anchorages on our chart briefing. Here, we're going to start at Cooper Island, and we're going to go all the way through to the North Sound. First of all, I think it's actually our second video, we did a look at Manchineel Bay, which is right here, which is the primary uh, anchorage in Cooper Island, uh, which has the Cooper Island Beach Club, etc., and all of the fun that goes around with it, and snorkeling here at System Point. Uh, Cooper Island, Manchineel Bay, is of course the home to the famous Cooper Island Beach Club. But a little further to the south on the west side is Hallovers Bay, which is right here. Even though it says Hallover Bay here, it's actually Hallovers Bay. Uh, not far from Manchineel Bay, it's a small anchorage. It can be a good an overnight anchorage if the conditions are right. But if there is a, a southerly blowing at all, it will become rolly and quite untenable. Anchoring is in the usual 20 feet of water, and make sure that you check your anchor is well set. We suggest sending a, somebody over the side with a snorkel gear to have a look. There aren't any facilities here, but as with the other anchorages mentioned so far, it is a quiet respite from the hubbub of a busy anchorage. Next, we're going to go to Virgin Gorda. So we've had a quick look at Cooper Island. Next, we're going to come along to Virgin Gorda. Of course, Spanish Town is the largest settlement on Virgin Gorda, which is right here, and we'll zoom in in just a second, and is home to a great marina. So let's zoom in here. There are all of the facilities you'll need here once you navigate the entrance. A word of caution here, don't cut or hurry the entrance or you will be rearranging your bottom paint. And we'll also have a very public red-faced experience. There are mooring balls under the headland to the north, so in here. These mooring balls, however, are interspersed with private balls, so please make sure that you're not trespassing and limiting anchorage space. The real story, however, is the marina, which is the gateway to the facilities that wait you ashore in Spanish Town. From the usual fuel, water, ice, and garbage facilities, there's also pump-out facilities, Wi-Fi, shore showers, and the like, all included with your docking fees if you should choose to use the marina. Ashore, you'll also find the all-important ATM, supermarket, drugstore, dive shops, and boutiques for all of your important wraps and t-shirts, a car rental place, and of course, taxis for a tour of the island. There are plenty of choices ashore for restaurants as well, but my favorites are Coco Maya and The Rock Cafe. Uh, both are a short taxi ride away, primarily due to the narrow unlit roads, or for the brave, a short 10 minute amble from the marina. There are a few other choices of restaurants and they're closer to the marina too. So it's a very compact little spot here and well worth a visit. Next, we're gonna head to the North Sound. When approaching the North Sound, you'll be encountering Colquin Reef and Cactus Reef both of these jealously guarding the entrance. We recommend you approach from the north looking for Mosquito Rock, which is right here, see that there? Uh, that marks the northernmost entrance and the point of Colquin Reef. Entrance is well marked, and as long as you cut no corners and stay within the channel markers, you'll have no issues, and the sound will open up as you enter. Once inside the reef and in clear water, you have quite a few choices. Directly south is Leverick Bay, which is right here and the Leverick Bay Resort and Marina, which boasts beach bars, dock space, mooring balls, a great restaurant, and an evening cabaret, which I use in inverted commas, a spa, a supermarket, trash facilities, fuel, water, ice, and of course, Jumbie's Beach Bar, not to mention water sports rentals and a dive shop. Across the sound to the east and northern extreme is the Bitter End Yacht Club, which is right here. This world-famous sailor's paradise is a full complement of facilities and activities in a resort that is known pretty much by every sailor. I said in the previous videos that I had seen bitter end bumper stickers all around the world, including Thailand, um, England, North America, pretty much everywhere I've been, even Greece. Uh, so it's currently undergoing complete rebuild. The Bitter End uh, has a great restaurant, deli, grocery, bakery, dinghy, paddleboard, water sports rental facilities, as well as docks, mooring balls, a full marina with fuel, water and ice, great bars, and a place to see sharks in an enclosure. The, the Bitter End Yacht Club and uh, Sabre Rock uh, were, well, the whole of the North Sound was greatly affected by Hurricane Irma, but they are bouncing back quickly. Just to the north of the Bitter End Yacht Club is Sabre Rock. And when you take one of Sabre Rock's mooring balls, you also get up to 250 gallons of water for free and a bag of ice. This is one of the best deals in the BVI. The marina also has slips with power, and although you're not allowed to bring garbage ashore, there is a launch that comes around the anchorage and will take your trash for about $3 a bag. The restaurant and bar are great, and considering the location, a pretty good value. 
Every day at happy hour, there is the feeding of the tarpons, which is a must-see for the kids. There is also a first-class resort on this rock for those who would like to spend a little time ashore. On the west side of Sabre Rock on Prickly Pear Island, uh, and to the north of Vixen Point and to the south of Cactus Reef is an anchorage with great holding, so right here. And it's less than 20 feet of water there, so again, it meets all of my criteria. There is also a modest mooring ball field here too, and ashore is the sandbox restaurant and bar set on a great beach. You'll be able to get a cold beverage and a tasty lunch or dinner and have a great swim too here. Highly recommend it. To the east and south of the, of the sound is the yacht club Costa Smeralda and of course Byrus Creek, which is right here. Uh, these swanky spots are the perfect place for a landmark celebration. Uh, ask about dress code when you're booking in at the Yacht Club of Costa Smeralda. The Yacht Club has full services at the marina. So if you're booked in to stay here, it'll be a top-notch experience. This is a stunning place and is not sta stayed or snooty at all. Further east and tucked up in Byrus Creek is the Byrus Creek Resort Complex. This is a very well-protected anchorage. Unfortunately, the resort is closed at the moment without a date certain for reopening. However, the Fat Virgin Cafe is ashore and offers a range of casual dining options and a great happy hour from about 4.30 to about 6.30, which sometimes can become a little bit elastic. Uh, the next morning, after your night in the North Sound, it's time to head for the legendary Anagada. However, as there's only one anchorage there, uh, we'll skip right past the next spot. That's all we have time for this week. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. Any suggestions, we're always excited to hear from you. Uh, in next week's episode, we'll look at an anchorage we haven't talked about before, as well as do a little bit more in-depth look at the anchorages in and around Jostvandijk. See you then.